Hello and welcome back to Duke's Copy TV. Today I'm joined in the studio by Valentin Marinov, director of City FX, and we're talking market reactions to various data releases. Valentin, thank you so much for coming in and joining me. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. No problem. Now, firstly, we can't not talk about the news last night from the IMF reducing Greece's debt by 40 billion euros. What have been the market reactions to this news? Well, that was largely expected. There was an earlier Eurogroup meeting a week ago, and uh, some of that was already in the price. Euro dollar did rally to close to 130. And on the face of it, there was very limited market response. Uh, what we are seeing most recently is actually people uh, presumably selling euro dollar yet again. In a, a way, I mean, to describe this would be really buy the rumor, sell the euro yet again. So that's some optimism priced in into the price and people looking to take profit again. I see. And let's just move on to talk about the fiscal cliff. What do you think that the FX market reaction will be to a fiscal cliff? Well, fiscal cliff would be a negative surprise, that is, risk of uh, could follow a potential failure in the US to deal with uh, that problem before year end. And I think uh, following the election, there was some sort of a reaction to that in the sense that investors were quick to move away from the presidential elections and onto the problems related to the fiscal cliff. Right now, there were a few meetings between the Republicans and the Democrats, and markets got encouraged by that, which was reflected in the renewed resilience of the S&P, other risk-correlated assets and currencies. I still suspect, however, that the risks for disappointment are not uh, non-negligible. In a sense, uh, it will be in both parties' interest to actually allow the so-called tax, a uh, Bush tax cuts expire so that they could vote down those taxes again to vote for lower taxes early uh, in uh, January. If that's indeed the case, I suspect that we could see a renewed sell-off into the year end. I see. And how much of this will, uh, will be influenced by the potential purchase of US Treasuries by the FOMC later this month? I think it's important to know uh, uh, really uh, what the Fed response would be and the markets will be certainly awaiting the FOMC meeting on the 12th and 13th of December. I suspect that if there is no clarity as regards the fiscal cliff, the Fed may try to preempt any potential deterioration in mar market risk sentiment by announcing additional unsterilized treasury purchases on the top of the 40 billion ABA MBS purchases that have been announced in September. In terms of market response while well, this could alleviate some of the uh, concerns and to a degree could provide a floor for risky assets it need not prevent a uh, renewed sell-off in risk. Valencian, when will the FX market start to look at the uncertainty coming from Spain and the fiscal uncertainty there? Well, Spain is a topic which markets chose to ignore for now, especially given the measures announced by the ECB earlier uh, this year, that is the outright monetary transactions uh, the ECB announced in September. Since then, the assumption has been that uh, Spain is not a risk, given the ECB would do what it takes, that is, buy Spanish sovereign debt, if indeed the selling pressure intensifies. However, what investors seem to ignore is that the ECB will only buy that debt if certain conditionality is given, if certain conditions are fulfilled. And among these conditions is indeed a Spanish bailout request, which uh, on the face of it need not come before year end. That's important because uh, what Spain is facing in the first quarter of uh, next year, and especially in January, is a fiscal cliff on their own. They'll be issuing about 50 billion of new paper, or about a third of their funding needs for the entire 2030. All they will need actually would be investors to continue to buy Spanish debt. However, importantly, the latest data seemed to indicate that investors were buying Spanish paper in expectation of Spanish bailout request. If that's not given before that fiscal cliff starts, really, there may be the case that we'll have a failed auction in Spain, which could trigger a renewed selling uh, pressure on, I mean, the case of Euro, but also in the Spanish bond market. Well, Valencian, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your insights with us. Just before I let you go, we ask every guest that comes into the studio, if you had one million US dollars to invest in the market for a year, where would you put it and why? And these are your options. 
I pick gold. I think the fact that uh, not, I mean, ma the major central banks around the world will continue to really pump money into the uh, global economy will ultimately keep demand for uh, ultimate safe havens like the gold very much in place, which should keep the gold price uh, supported throughout uh, next year. So that'll be my pick. Thank you so much for your advice Pleasure. today. And thank you all for watching. Just click back to the Duke's Copy website for more interviews and updates.